Hey everyone, it's time to learn all about the Powtoon timeline. The timeline gives you full control over any object's entrance and exit effects, time on stage, and overall length of each slide. After you get the hang of the timeline, you can create your Powtoons with pro-level confidence. Ready? Let's go! First, let's get the lay of the land. Here's our timeline. As you can see, the default duration for the slide is 10 seconds, but you can add or remove seconds with these plus and minus buttons here. This triangle is the playhead, currently located at 1 second. Drag it to the 3 second mark, and we'll add our character Layla to our slide. You'll see Layla's tag has been added to the timeline, entering at 3 seconds, right where the playhead was positioned. This blue area represents the object's duration on stage. Let's say I want Layla to enter at 1 second and exit the stage at 6 seconds. This is a snap. Just grab the left edge of the blue area and drag it to 1 second, and drag the right edge to the 6 second mark. Check it out! Dun da da da! Nice! Layla comes in at 1 second and says adios at 6 seconds. Now let's add Layla's friend Eric to the stage. Here's Eric's tag on the timeline. We see he enters at 5 seconds and leaves at 10 seconds. You can switch between Layla and Eric like this. Once one is selected, we can change its duration. Now I just want to see how Eric plays on the slide. Instead of dragging the playhead, here's a shortcut. Just click the timeline at the 5 second mark. Now we'll hit the blue play button and play from the current position of the playhead. Nice, Eric. But you know, there's nothing I like more than togetherness. So let's have Layla and Eric enter together. Here's what we do. Just take Eric's tag and drag it on top of Layla's. Now the tag shows the number 2, representing the number of objects with the same time on stage. Click the 2 to see the individual tags. Now, if I want to select one of the characters, I can click their tag here and make any changes I want. If you ever want to separate the characters, just select one of the characters, Layla in this case, and drag her tag to the left edge of the blue area until she's no longer grouped with Eric. Okay, it's time for the bells and whistles, entry and exit effects. This arrow here represents how Layla enters the slide, and this arrow here shows how she exits. I'll click on the entry arrow, and now I can choose from other enter effects. Let's try pop for some fun. Have a look now at the timeline. The arrow pointing to the right has been replaced with the symbol for the pop effect. And now, if we play the scene, we see Layla pop on the stage. Whoop! You can follow the same process to set your exit effects. This time, let's choose the hand effect. This is super popular for explainer videos and whiteboard powtoons. I'll click Add Hand, and I'll select this one, and hit it! And that's what we call awesomeness, my friends. Now that you're a timeline master, you'll have precise control to customize your Powtoons to meet your needs exactly. As always, check out our Help Center for detailed articles about this subject and tons more. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to make it awesome.